Welcome back. A Queensland woman is making headlines for being slut-shamed by Jetstar staff. Shoshana Strykert says she was told to cover up when boarding a flight on the Gold Coast and claims a hostess asked, do you see any men walking around with their shirts off? Well, boy, we're going to get today's take on this with journalist Ida Buttrose and comedian Ash Williams. Happy Valentine's, both yes. of you, and welcome. Thank you. Ita, now this 28-year-old was wearing a black crop top and three-quarter length pants with a, a midsection exposed, as we can see. Do you think this is inappropriate? No, I don't, but I, I actually did do a double take when I saw Ash this morning. I, I thought... <laughs> Yeah. I thought that perhaps I would Actually, not that's well, you bring well, this up. Do you know what? I did too, uh, I mean, to be fair. You know, I've had a tough morning. Like, you look like you've come I, off a builder's Did you get to get dressed? No, I did. Honestly, I just got out of bed. But um, these are my shorts. Um, and I, I, look you've at done this, that pretty much. I won't turn around there. Look at the socks. Look at the Look, honestly. I mean, really? Yeah, look. I mean, really. You know, this is Channel 9. This is Today Extra. It's a classy. This has a bit of style to it. Would you get on an aircraft like that? Definitely. Yeah? I'm going to watch TV like this. What, yeah. He's, he's no, barely dressed. On. You haven't yeah. ironed your T-shirt. You're I, in shorty shorts. I go on dates like this. This is how and is I that, like is to... That, does that work out for you? Not really. <laughs> um, but uh, well, what do you I, like, I like the logic of this because I think the, uh, the stewardess said, look, you're wearing a, a crop top. The next thing, guys will be taking their shirts off. I mean, the logic there, <laughs> I don't know. Anytime I see a, a girl in a crop top, I don't take my top off. And but you go, I, think, All right, well. I think if airlines are going to uh, are going to passenger shame, and that's what they did. This woman is a passenger. Mm. Right. If, they're, if they're going to passenger shame somebody, they should have a dress code that applies to everybody that gets on the aeroplane. So that would be guys in shorts and thongs. That might be somebody in a singlet. I mean, I, there are no hard and fast rules. Some planes mm. will not let women on in ripped jeans. Some will not let them on in leggings. I mean, you know, the, the world has moved on. I think that girl looks perfectly appropriate and I'd be really offended if it happened to me and I don't think 50 bucks compensation from Jetstar is enough. But you know what, she can put that 50 bucks towards a new crop top so <laughs> I think you can get a good one, maybe two. I think that she's dressed bucks. fashionably and sensibly yeah, for the climate, I that's think. That's right. Yeah. What would I know? They also make news, mums and dads are being urged to uh, take a step back and adopt a more old-fashioned approach to parenting. According to some research, overcomplicating things is leading to an increase in childhood problems like obesity, diabetes and uh, mental health issues. Ita, what do you reckon? Do people need, parents need to take a step back and focus on the big picture I, and just I, let I, them be? I think you have to enjoy being a parent. It's not without challenges. And, you know, the parents in this survey talk a lot about how they're worried about screen time. I think you do need hard and fast rules about screen time with children, but Parents need to think about their own time on screen time. And I think they should put their phones away when they come home after work and maybe all go to the kitchen, cook, cook dinner, have a natter and have some family time together. You know, it's, this screen time thing is a two-way uh, sword because every time I look at a parent out with a child, they seem to be on their phone. Yeah, what do you think, Ash? I have nothing to add. I just think that this is the most <laughs> boring uh, research I've ever heard. And this research, what it comes out every day, and they're like, oh, guess what? We've done all these studies, and kids shouldn't be on iPhones. Get a life. I, I read that last year. Not iPhones. Ease up on parents. We're trying are our very best. Oh, no, I'm not even got parents. I'm not got the researchers who are getting these grants. And, uh, How many children you know, do you have, Come on, Ash? come on, I want more. How many children do I have? That's none of your business either. <laughs> and I, I don't know. None that he knows of, anyway. No, but I'm an uncle, a new uncle, so I know... A thing or two All about right. uh, something. Starting to heat up here. A young man, man looking for love. He's being slammed for his list of requirements. And this has gone viral. Now, the demands include uh, they must be between 19 and 23. They must weigh between 43 and 47 kilos. No cheap tattoos. They must be willing to move to Canberra and not be insecure if he doesn't come home all weekend. Heavens. What? Journalist Ida Buttrose and comedian Ash Williams are with us to discuss Ita. <laughs> Who does this guy think he is? This is unbelievable. I have no idea, but I'm not surprised he's 35 and searching for his soulmate oh because this goodness. woman also has to have C-cup boobs. Mm. Now, if you're five foot one, That's... you'd have to be like have Dolly Parton yeah. boobs, yeah. really, because yeah. because five foot one, 42 to 47 k girls don't usually have such. Large bosoms. It's just rude, though, isn't it? It's arrogant. Well, well, he's a bit desperate. Doesn't, doesn't he have a right? Ash, what do you think? Doesn't he have a right to 
Do, Ask what was that? What Doesn't he, he have or, it right? Or no? Or is it a bit creepy? Or what do you make of it? I don't know. I thought it was an application for Married at First Sight. Um, but uh, I don't know. Well, it sort of is. It, yeah, it just seems a bit fake almost. I mean, there's just too yeah. many red flags for me. Uh, and if it's real, then, um, I mean, mate, just email one of those blow-up doll companies because it's like... You're not going to find a real human like that. But I surely don't think. it's better off being honest than, than getting all these women and going on dates and then saying, oh, no, I don't actually want you. You're too tall. You're too Maybe big. it's a Didn't ploy. You Maybe it. he's looking for a sympathy vote. Maybe he's looking for a girl that says, well, I'm not that girl, but I'm this girl. There you go. What Possibly. about me? Yeah, maybe. See. Yeah, you just go, go around with the list and then... Tick it off. Quite romantic on Valentine's Day. See, well, how smart is Ida? She goes the know, reverse like psychology like theory. <laughs> well, speaking of Valentine's Day, uh, look, we're finding out the gifts people definitely don't want to receive today. So it's time to say goodbye, apparently, from everything from red roses to giant cookies and teddy bears, chocolates and heart-shaped balloons. Well, what else is there left? Um, <laughs> Ash? There's love and friendship. Right. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's what, immediately what you think of when you think of Valentine's yeah. Day, isn't it? Ash, what's the worst thing you've ever received on Valentine's Day? Sorry, Amber. Dickie, you're very cheeky. Sorry. You, you know why you're cheeky? Because aren't you in trouble with your uh, better half? No. Or, oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah. No, you, just you, you're a, dobbing yeah, him in I now, am dobbing him. Yeah, I've did. just made a reservation. That's <laughs> Thanks a million for that. Dickie may have forgot to make a reservation. Well, it's, it's all good. It's all good. It's, it's nice fixed. Fun Dickie trouble. being Dickie, you, know you fixed Dickie, it, right? It's fixed. Wow. It's fixed. It's all sorted. Uh, you know what, though? Um, There's no secrets on this yeah, show. Yeah, you know oh, what? People at home, you know, enjoy. <laughs> uh, I won't be back. But, um, <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm not doing Valentine's Day this year. Mainly because I don't have a girlfriend, but like, <laughs> I think it's um, I think it's wonderful for everyone to to get involved. And and this article is saying that the only cheese people want is four cheese pizza. That's what they're saying. So it's basically I didn't like read that. But I read down the bottom. I, I reckon if you're in love with someone, all you really do want is some sort of token of his or her esteem. And I. I have sent flowers to a man once that I really fancied oh, and it, it went down really well. I do recommend a red carnation if you're looking for somebody to make an impression on of the opposite So sex. you'd never say no to a bouquet of roses or a teddy bear? No, I wouldn't because I just think it would be so nice to have somebody who thought that much of me to send me something. Yeah, it's just I nice agree. to love and be loved. Is it's that what right. It is, absolutely. Very good. And Happy Valentine's take them out Day, to dinner. Let us know what you think uh, on Twitter or Facebook. Uh, thank you, Ita, and, uh, and you, Ash, Ash making his final appearance <laughs> on today. <laughs> I love you, Dickie. I love you, too. I love you, Ida. Happy great, Valentine's great Day, one and all. Yeah. <laughs> all right, coming up on Today Extra, we'll James Cameron's latest blockbuster.